Uh, hi, I'm Miles Donnelly, and I own the Franklin Corporation. Um, we've been in business uh, a lot longer than I'd like to admit, but I um, actually started this business in about 1978 to 80, uh, working in, basically in Bellingham. Uh, most of the people that have been interviewed today I've had long-term relationships with, uh, built a lot of projects with uh, the architects that were interviewed. And I like doing challenging jobs, and we seem to get our fair share of crummy old buildings and uh, difficult, challenging uh, projects that uh, either have extremely hard time frames to meet or um, a lack of plans, <laughs> in the case of Mr. Christensen in particular. <laughs> but um, they're great architects, and um, I like working with them. The, the finished product has always been something we've been proud of, and, and we've won some awards doing so with their designs. And uh, So they're, they're great relationships, and I, I really enjoy doing what I'm doing. I wouldn't be doing it this long if I didn't, I guess. Um, so that's kind of where it's at. Uh, we've gotten a lot bigger in the last three or four years, um, brought on some bright young people, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to retire someday and they can carry this monster on if they so desire, but uh, they're, uh, they're, I wish I was as smart as they are at their age. Uh, they're uh, really a bright bunch of guys. So. Um, They've allowed us to get bigger, do bigger projects, uh, and more of them at the same time. Um, that's been challenging. And so we've gone from basically our mom and pop, I guess, to a, a decent-sized construction company. Um, we like doing what we're doing. Um, it's very really important to us that uh, we end up with a happy client. Uh, a tremendous amount of our business started out as doing TIs for a client, and then they've progressed over the years into major projects for the same people as they've moved and expanded. And so it's, uh, I don't know, that's, uh, that's what I like to do and that's uh, what we'll hopefully continue to do. That's the thing about, that was really clear to it. me today is uh, people were here, came here to do these videos because of you, the relationships with you. Why do you think that, you know, how have these relationships grown and developed over the years? Well, I like to think that I'm a fairly uh, straightforward guy. I don't like uh, beating around the bush. I'm very direct. Um, they like my honesty as far as their design goes. Um, if something doesn't physically work, I can usually come up with a solution, and they like the fact that I'll come back to them with maybe a better way to, to peel the onion, and uh, they can incorporate that into their design. So um, thinking on your feet, and, and especially in old buildings that need to be... Uh, uh, brought up to speed as far as earthquake codes or whatever and not lose the integrity of the design. Uh, it's very important that you can uh, kind of think outside the box. So a lot of the projects we've done are because of that. What do you think about the, the green building boom and lead and so on? I think it, it's a tremendous deal, um, deal I say, because it is a, it's a, a mindset. Uh, it's certainly something that's worth um, everybody's effort to do their part. Um, I wished it wasn't as expensive, and um, especially for the client. I mean, if you have a client that is uh, serious about building something green, it's a, it's a hell of a commitment because it's a lot more expensive than I hope it will be in the future. Um, or I didn't say that right, but I hope it gets more uh, economically feasible to do it on, uh, and maybe on a lesser scale, but uh, to achieve the major portions that are really beneficial rather than the glitz. Um, it's getting a lot of media attention right now and everything green and it's kind of like a bandwagon that everybody's jumping on but so far product um, product availability and stuff that meet the green certifications are overpriced uh, and I hope to see that change in the future.